Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth Swift tutorial. In this tutorial, we will create our first useful Swift app. And this is nothing but our converter app. We created in Objective-C, but now we need to create it with Swift. Uh, you need to look for IB Outlet, IB Action, UI Label, and UI Text Field. So let's move on. Like our Objective-C tutorials, we first show the final product, and then we will go ahead and create it. So here again, we have a converter app, it has a label, a text field, and a result label, and also a label for the feed. So uh, as soon as I try to um, convert mile to feed, it will show me the result here. So and then I have to create, uh, I mean press the convert button, and then it create one mile is 5280 feet. So if I put 2 and then convert, it will just change it to 10,000. So let's create it. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new project. And we call it S Converter, S for Swift, and Converter App. Since we had this in Objective-C, I'm trying to distinguish between the download links I put S at the beginning of all of the uh, applications that we create. So it created our application. Let's go to the view controller and just clear everything in order to have some simple view controller. And also in the main storyboard, when I look at the storyboard, I see it's blank. So let's drag all of the items that we need. And the first item that we need is the label. So it shows some miles. So I can just use the blue guideline. Uh, just don't worry about the auto layout for now. Um, we will have full advanced uh, auto layout. We had a one uh, for Objective C. You can use, um, I mean, watch that tutorial. Uh, but we will have another one which is more advanced and. Uh, I'll create it soon. So, we need also a uh, text field. I will just drag it and put it for the whole width, the width of the screen. And we need a label for feeds as well. So, I'll just call it feet. And I can just put it in S here. And S here. And yeah, as I said, just for now, use the blue guidelines. And I want to put this in the middle. Converter. We also need results label. So let's put it here. Call it results. And okay. So uh, again, I will put some constraints for these label and layout. This is completely for auto layout session, but you can just watch the tutorial that I created already to then it makes sense for you. So I added two constraints for that to have the left and up and constraint and this one should have constraint for up as standard. And I want to extend it for the whole width of the screen. So I have three constraints, one on the right, one on the left, and one on the top. Uh, same thing for here. I just want the standard uh, space on the left and standard space on the top and add two constraints. And also for this, we need a uh, constraint for top and also left side. And last UI element, uh, we want to add it in the middle of the screen. So we turn on these two constraints so it stays in the middle of the screen. <clears throat> we are done with the UI, so let's just connect the UI to the view. Now it's the time that we need to connect our view elements to the code. So uh, we need the view and also our code at the same time. So we need to press this button 
uh, assistant, show assistant, uh, to, in order to have the code and also view at the same time. And it should be on automatic, so it automatically picks the right view if you select uh, the right view controller. And I drag and hold it and connect it to our uh, class. So I have to first uh, hold down the control key on your keyboard, not command, control key, and drag it from the field that you want to connect and drop it here. So as soon as you release it, you'll see this pop over and it shows the connection is outlet. It's just a syntax for Xcode that understands that it's an outlet. And you specify a name for it. I will name it Miles Field. And it, uh, you can select a type. Of course, we have only text field here. And so it just the type is text field. And the storage type is weak here. And it only for the memory management. Just don't worry about it right now. Let it as is and you hit connect. So as you can see, it creates this line of code for us. Uh, IB outlet, as I said, it's a syntax for Xcode that it just understand that it's an outlet and it will specify weak for memory management. Uh, it's a var, it's defining a variable and we call it man miles field and the type is UI text field uh, because this uh, UI element is called UI text field. And of course, it returns optional in order to uh, unwrap it. We put this uh, nice <laughs> exclamation mark. So the next thing that we need to connect is our results because we want to change this. We have three items that we need to connect. The first one was this one. So because user types something, we need to read from text field. And uh, we need to show the results. So I connect uh, the field here. This time, uh, you'll see again it's outlet. The name is, we call it uh, maybe results. Results label. And the type is UI label because we connect the label. And again, because it's IB outlet, the storage type is weak. So we connect. And the next thing, of course, is our convert button. We need to have an action for it. Uh, as soon as user click on it, we convert. So this time we can and drag and sorry, we hold the control key, we drag and drop. So by default, it wants to add an outlet, but we don't need an outlet here. Uh, we need an action for it uh, because it's a button. So uh, what do I what do I call it? I will call it um, convert and the type of the object we need to specify button because it's a button but by default it's any object but make sure that it's your yeah, button and the event just don't worry about it right now it's always for for us it's touch up inside and uh, we have we have different uh, status for button when you click on it when you and uh, I mean release the button but we need touch up inside if you click on it you will see all of the states but the uh, state that we want is top touch up inside and you can use it always as is in rare case you will we might select a, a new one arguments uh, the you will send the sender which is the button uh, along with the action so sometimes you will need it sometimes not in this case, we need it. If you don't need it, you put it none. And sender is uh, sometimes it's good. For example, if you want to get the title of the button, and uh, you you need the sender. So we will say sender the title, current title. So it will get the uh, title. But if you don't need a sender, you don't um, you specify none. So I will connect. As soon as I connect, you will see it will create. If I say this separate this it will create this IB action since it's a function it's an action it will create func instead of var it's not a variable anymore it's a function and the name of my function and the sender that I said it will pass along our um, uh, sending I mean uh, argument so 
and it has it's, it's basically a function as soon as I, cr I click on this button this function will be called so I can just add all of my logic here and that's it in order to convert miles into feet we need to know the math uh, equation between these two things so we need to know that one mile is 5280 feet and I separate each step that we need to take first we need to get the value from the text field that user types then we need to convert the text into float because the text uh, is text type but we need to convert it to flow to our, our calculation then we need to convert it back to the text and set our label so how do we do that I will just go ahead and write it down first I define a variable called miles and what it does it just gets the um, a value of the miles field the text value and of course it returns optional and I have to unwrap it here so it gets the text value out of it I want to do it in one line converting text into float type by just adding float here and putting our text inside of it so it returns float type so if I hold down alt key and look at my uh, things and it turns float then I will come here and say let feet fits equal to miles. Since it returns optional, I have to unwrap it here. This function returns optional, I have to unwrap it here and do our calculations, which is miles multiplied by this number here, 5280 it will returns the feeds number and then I can just set the label results label and let's say results label dot text equals feet but it won't accept it because this feeds is type float but this text is type text and string so how to convert it exactly like here we wanted to convert it to float we put float here this time we want to convert it to string so we put string and put our value inside of it and that's all that's all we have to do if I just remove these until here I have just three lines of code that is doing my calculation if I run the application you will see the result here is our app. I can just uh, put one mile and hit convert and it will convert it to this. And we can just um, not use variables and defining variables and have our code in just one line of code. In order to define this variable, I can just put the value of this variable and paste it right here and just get rid of this variable. And also, I can just get rid of this variable by putting this um, value inside of here and just get rid of this. So in just one line of code, I have my converter app. It's very simple and easy. So until next time, have a good time.